Hello everyone. So today I will be talking about the helicopter plane hybrid. Yes, that's right. Technology has come a long way, and one piece of equipment that's recently been perfected is tilt rotor aircraft, which is a hybrid of both planes and helicopters. They are changing the game, and here, we'll talk about what they can do, and why they are the future of organ donation. The name of this aircraft is the AW609, and it's going into production this week in a factory located in Philadelphia. The 609 is a breakthrough in technology, and it will enter service within 2020. Currently, it seats nine passengers, along with two crew members, and it's got turboprop propeller engines at the end of each wing. The engines swivel up or down depending on what the aircraft is doing. Unlike the V-22 Osprey which the military uses, the AW609 contains a pressurized cabin which allows it to fly as high as 25,000 feet which is above most of the bad weather. However, one downside is that so far, the prototype has killed two pilots during a flight test, but the Osprey suffered a similar fate. We will be watching the development on these. The AW609 is powered by a pair of Pratt Whitney Canada PT6C67A turboshaft engines, which each drive a three-bladed probe rotor. These engines possess roughly twice the horsepower of the similarly sized Augusta Westland AW169 helicopter. Both of the engine and probe rotor pairs are mounted on a load-bearing rotatable pylon at the wing's ends, allowing the probe rotors to be positioned at various angles. In helicopter mode, the probe rotors can be positioned between a 75 and 95 degree angle from the horizontal, with 87 degrees being the typical selection for hovering vertically. These airplanes fly faster than your traditional airplanes. While they have been used by the military for years, production has finally been approved to use these for emergency medevac flights, search and rescue, along with executive travels. Michael Bloomberg has reportedly said he wants one, and with this, he could fly at speeds of up to 300 miles per hour to a meeting a thousand miles away. To put it into perspective, a meeting that's across the country could only take a couple of hours to get there, saving you so much time. These don't need airports, but instead a small helipad. That means, that they don't need to go through the complex security, or even just building one of those. It can change lives. Organ donation could benefit immensely from this. It could save time in organ donation. You can get a donor heart from the hospital, fly it out to another hospital 100s of miles away, avoiding the airport debacles, and saving so many lives. Then there is search and rescue. Planes can't get down to where people are and transport them, but a tilt rotor aircraft could save time and lives, flying long distances to search the grids and then getting people up. This aircraft is the first of its kind, but it comes at a very high price, about $25 million, which is twice the price of a traditional helicopter. It's for the Cadillac type of customers, and it's a unique product. But, as time goes on, hopefully, all of the kinks will be figured out, and hopefully, these can start becoming more commonplace in production over time. Time will tell if that's the case, or if there will be a once tried and true means of bringing two aircraft together. Thank you for watching. Please share your comments and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.